Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the third team of the season Friday in FIFA 22. Today, bonus league team of the season is here. We are going to see cards and packs, SBCs, and objectives. I want to break it all down for you today in today's video and also talk about how the market is going to act very differently from how it has on the past two weeks on Friday for the new team of the season releases because there's not as many saved up packs. So we're going to take a look at all of that today on the video. Of course, how we do expect to make some coins today and how I don't think that first hour is going to be as cheap, specifically related to the market. Now, I know also today on Friday, there's still Premier League cards and packs for at least a few more hours. So a lot of you guys might be doing some last minute player picks, some last minute upgrade SBCs. And I do want to take a look at the weekend league rewards stuff that's going on because EA did update for champions and they also told us how they're going to compensate from last week's issue of them ending Weekend League early. And in my opinion, it's kind of laughable. So we're going to take a look at all of that in today's video and more. But if you're excited for Bundesliga Tots, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's just start from the top. And again, I know you guys have seen a lot of these leaks, but just to scroll through some of the brand new ones that we have had in the past day, some of the cards that we are going to see in Bundesliga team in the season. Now, this is going to be our objective card today. This was leaked yesterday. The Griffo left mid objective card. Nice link to Cali Aguri, um, although it's on the other side of the pitch, right? Cali Aguri, right mid, Griffo left mid with that Italy and uh, Bundesliga link there with those cards. Not a bad looking card. Now, of course, that's our objective. We don't have a specific leak for an SBC item coming today. We don't actually have an SBC leak as of right now, but a couple more leaks to be in the team. Manuel Neuer, of course, who else would it be as our goalkeeper? Not in the 90 speed category like Allison was. Schlotterbeck's going to be one of the center backs we're seeing today in the team. That's a dope looking card. His uh, silver item headliners card is really, really, really good. And then Diaby, 99 pace, 97 dribble. Probably going to be a pretty cheap card, but also going to be very, very meta. And that's going to have a lot of people interested in getting that card and playing with him on the game today as a right mid French very usable, very linkable in the Bundesliga Tots team coming out today. Now, of course, if you had not seen a lot of the other leaks, there's some cracked out cards getting dropped today. This Jude Bellingham is one of those. Lewandowski with the potential five-star weak foot. Davies with the five-star skills. And then, of course, and Kunku with the insane boost. There's just so much riding on the little things today, right? Do they do the five-star skill move, five-star weak foot boost on more cards than just Davies? and Lewandowski. Do they do the work rate or the weak foot upgrades on Nkunku? Those sort of things today are, are what is going to make either Bundesliga team of the season the first just okay league of tots or what's going to be a continuation of really, really hype cards. The stats look good as long as these don't change. If you guys remember last Friday, EA actually downgraded some of the stats that were leaked and they changed the cards and made them worse. But for community tots, they did the opposite. They made them better. So Really curious to see how that goes today for Bundesliga. But from the looks of it, EA want people to be hyped about Bundesliga cards in pack today with the cards they've released, the ratings that they have given them, the stat boost that they have given him. So I'm going to be excited today because I think there's a lot of potential. It just is going to come down to those little things. Like I mentioned, the skill move, the weak foot, and the work rate upgrades, especially on this in Kunku, but for the rest of the team as well. Guys like Diaby, skill move weak foot upgrade, maybe a Schlotterbeck. You know, some of the other cards that are in the midfield that we have seen leaked, like Thomas Muller, if he gets a skill move slash weak foot upgrade, just all sorts of those things in this game today is, is what's going to take this Bundesliga promo from good to great. Same thing with Holland too, right? We need that four-star, four-star at least. So those are going to be all the cards and packs. We took a look at more leaks on yesterday's video if you want to go take a look at those. And I think we're going to see a few more cards even leaked today on Friday still because I don't think we have a full team uh, leaked on Twitter as of yet. And like I mentioned, the SBC, now the SBC is always interesting to kind of look at, right? We always have an SBC on a promo Friday, a player SBC that is. Now we don't have any leaks and I'm really curious to see what it is because that really is a good gauge of how hype the promo Friday is going to actually be on this game. Last Friday, we had the Delhi Alley flashback, which was pretty dope. A lot of people were, were a big fan of that really, really good card. Um, and, and that was a W. So I'm really curious to see what EA does today for Bundesliga, whether they put a Tots card out, whether they do a flashback or something like that. Uh, but if it's not that big of an SBC and, you know, a lot of people are still really hyped about Premier League Tots cards. These cards that we've just seen that have had 
really insane stat boost that a lot of people have just you know finished buying for their team you see some of these cards going up on the market on the lower tier on the higher tier Mohamed Salah is like 2.7 million coins after being 2.4 all week so a lot of these cards have risen up as a lot of you guys have seen and watched um, and there's still a lot of hype with these Premier League cards so if the hype on the SBC is not that great today I think what you're also going to see is a lot of people just play with the Premier League cards that they've got start the weekend league at a delayed time and you know those Bundesliga cards this is where it's really going to be interesting on the market today and as we maybe transition to talking about the market and especially that first hour the crazy fluctuations on the TOTS cards that we've seen the past two weeks in that first hour to two hour time frame it's probably it's probably not going to happen today on Friday because what you've had in the past couple weeks is people with saved up packs waiting for the Premier League team of the season especially last week but even the first week with community tots there was so much supply in that first hour right you guys remember where we were buying um Trent Alexander Arnold's for like what was it, like 200,000 coins and then he went all the way up to like 260 within the first hour right that that was a crazy crazy movement from last week during Premier League tots this week, you, you don't have all those saved up packs, so you're not going to have that supply hitting the market right away. Now, for some of the cheaper cards, like maybe a Frimpong who has been leaked, or a Diaby, or an Indica Tots card today, you might see a few of those get low and have some fluctuations. But for most of the cards today, specifically like an Alfonso Davies, these really higher tier expensive Tots cards that most people are going to want to go out if they're on the bigger budgets and try, you know, these cards are probably going to start off pretty expensive and then just drop down with the supply, with the lightning rounds, with the packs into the evening and then maybe rise up a bit on Saturday with a couple fluctuations in between, right? Some cards may be low in the first hour, maybe bounce a bit, but it's not going to be as prevalent as it has been in the past couple weeks. So like we talked about for Prem Tots, if you want to try out like an Alfonso Davies or a Holland or a Lewandowski or in Kunku today, I really would not recommend buying those in the first hour. The only thing that would say that would change that would be like preview packs. If EA dropped a preview pack, that would bring just a ton of supply on the market right away. But we have not seen anything other than the usual 7.5k packs in the store. Preview packs, that is, for a really, really, really long time. So that's kind of how I think the Bundesliga cards are going to react today. They're going to start high and gradually drop over the day and in the evening on Friday, then maybe some bounces into Saturday as people wake up and want to try them for weekend league. So now really where the, a lot of the hype is going to be today too is with the with the Premier League cards going out of packs, like I mentioned, people might just check the content today and look like, okay, there's some great cards that are getting released. Okay, we have an objective. Okay, the SBC is, is there, but I just want to go out and use the Prem cards that I bought or that I did the SBCs for and I want to use them in weekend league. And I think that's where a lot of people are going to be today. I think that this might be the day that you see some of the highest prices for the Premier League TOTS cards on this market from where they've been in the week. Of course, you know, guy, you, you guys know, right? This KDB is 970,000 coins after being in the mid to low 800K range um, throughout this whole last week. And he is up a lot as people have gone out and bought him for their teams and they want to use him and the supply is ending. They're going out of packs. And again, these are still really hype cards from the team that was released last week. So if you're playing your weekend league, just be careful with these cards. If you don't want to hold on to them for the long run and you're not worried, or if you are worried about losing coins, I still think that I'd be very careful with these today and, and thank this weekend, be careful with them and try to sell them off before too long. Because like we've been saying, the longer that you hold on to a TOTS card out of packs, the worse off it's probably going to go for you, especially if it's a more expensive, higher tier card, as we have weeks upon weeks of tots to come with more insane cards getting released, starting today with Bundesliga. So that's kind of how I feel about those cards. But I think that you'll see some prices go up today on Friday. Um, it, 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 Friday morning is going to be interesting, though. With the new start of the weekend league, the last couple Fridays have been kind of stagnant. And that's another thing I want to talk about, too, is if you see panic selling today, you know, on the market, regardless of what kind of card it is, just one card that comes to mind is Fantasy Foot Hasem Awar, just a really rare card that a lot of people still like to use um, in their teams. He's 500, basically 600,000 coins right now. If there's panic selling on the market today and it's a really rare card that doesn't look like it's going to get overtaken by a brand new hype Bundesliga item, I would give you the green light to try to trade with a card like that today. And I would say that it's probably a decent idea 
to try to go out and trade, maybe even with a guy like Gravenberch, with the Jude Bellingham that's coming out today. This guy's up a little bit out of packs. He's about 1.1 million coins. Let's say Gravenberch goes down all the way to under a million in the anticipation of Jude Bellingham coming out today. And then all of a sudden, Jude Bellingham is like three mil. And so people have to go back and buy Gravenberch because they can't afford Jude or something along those lines. That's what I would be careful with today. Also, a very, very big subject today is the Bundesliga out-of-pack specials. Now, speaking of a couple of these cards that have already started to rise up, Klosterman, I actually got a really sick snipe on Klosterman yesterday. I bought him at 50K. Yeah, believe it or not, I tweeted it out yesterday. I got a, It was just sitting here on the market for like 20 seconds, and I sniped it. Just right place, right time. Some of these Bundesliga Tots cards are up. And you know what? I'm taking some of the safe money. Um, I'm taking some of the cash on these items. Hinka Pay, I bought at like 28 to 32,000 coins. This guy's about 62,000 coins right now on the market. I'm slowly one by one taking the cash just because I'm happy with that sell price. I'm really happy with making almost 30,000 coins a card on, on a dude like this. I know he has really, really good stats and he links to Frimpong and the Verts card that is dropping today. But I just think that that price rise to me is so much in just a couple of days. Could he go a little bit higher this weekend if the Bundesliga center backs that are dropped are not that good? Yes. Um, but with the links that he has, he's really subject to only a couple strong links. I'm going to take the cash there. I bought like uh, 21 of those, I believe, was the total number that I bought. I've started to sell off a few more. Uh, but, you know, listing this guy up at 62,000 coins and taking my money here is nothing. Is really, I don't have a problem with that, like, at all. I also bought some Surge Navries. Um, in the low, I still have some of these Tots cards and I'm actually losing coins on, but I bought some Surge Navries in the low 60s. And, you know, with the Diaby coming out today as well, I think you might see that Surge Navry price drop. People are going to see, oh my goodness, Diaby's a right mid. So they're going to sell this card. Keep an eye on this Navry. He's very invested in, and this goes for all of your Bundesliga out of pack specials. Just be careful with these cards because they are very invested in, but also they still have a lot of hype. And they these cards, like this Surge Navry, I know there's not very many right wings in the Bundesliga. This guy still has the German links and the Bayern Munich links. So if there's a big panic sell from investors because of a guy like Diaby coming out today, or let's say somebody else drops, you know, like a Taliso road to the final is something that we maybe have to keep our eyes on as another Bundesliga player. You know, if a card like this were to, to drop with panic selling, um, either pre or post content, I think there will be great opportunities to trade with these cards with all the hype around the Bundesliga today, especially with some of those cheaper uh, Bundesliga specials. But I'm going to take the safe money and sell those in the hype um, because I, I've lost a few coins over this past week not selling soon enough because this market is constantly changing with all the SBCs that are out. People are changing their teams with like every single day with new cards that are dropping right now. Like everybody's running Prem squads with the Ronaldo, with the Deli Ali, with the Kane, with the Kurusevsky. So many great cards that have been released this past week. That's kind of the focus. What's going to happen after this weekend when that changes? And as people even change their squads today to maybe incorporate some Bundesliga players. So I would keep a close eye on that. And the rest of the market in general today, I mean, the market's going to feel like it's it's back, right? A lot of prices from where we saw earlier in the week last week. You know, I, I think of guys like Lacroix, who, or even like the Tot Suarez that I was looking at. Lacroix was 285,000 coins for the Future Stars item. And I believe now he's like 340 or three, yeah, 350. I know the Bundesliga hype is ramping up, but... A lot of those cards that we saw really low earlier in the week last week have kind of rebounded back. That gives me some confidence in the market, people wanting to buy cards, try out cards for their teams. So if you do see panic selling today, make sure to hop on it because I think there will be some great opportunities to trade. Now, you're like, Nate, you talked about not as many saved up packs. Yes, I did, but I also there is also going to be a lot of pack supply today, but that's going to hit the market the, probably the heaviest on the fodder range. Depending on what SBC we have dropped, I would expect most of these SBC fodder cards to drop off and to really produce another investing window this weekend. Now you're like, Nate, 84s are still up, 85s are still up, 86s are still up a little bit. Yes, last week they were incredibly, incredibly low. I think today will give you another opportunity. If you have not invested yet, you'll see these cards drop back down again. It will be another great time to do a club stock before we will undoubtedly get some great content this next week during Bundesliga team of the season. Last week, these cards got incredibly low. And if you're still holding on, that's fine by me because I think there's still a lot of, there's way more upside than, than downside. I mean, 84 is going below 2000 coins with all the SBCs that we have 
out in this game, even coming up this next week is like virtually impossible. So two to two and a half K, right? That's what you're looking for, for 84s. Anything under 3K, I think is fantastic. 85s in the 5K range is fantastic. 86 is under 10 is phenomenal, right? And even some of the higher tier fodder this week, because this is an early, early shout, but I would be really surprised if EA brought back the 92 plus icon moments pack for a second week in a row. I think we might be approaching the so in demand and everybody wants this SBC to drop, but the icon moments player pick, that would be a really, really big market mover this next week. I could see it happening after the 92 plus icon moments upgrade would be uh, the SBC that could expire. So just kind of keep an eye out uh, on the fodder market this weekend because I think today would be the first day where you might see uh, some stuff drop down. Now we do have a couple um, of new packs added to the code. I just saw this tweet a little bit ago and I wanted to show you guys this. These are most likely the lightning round packs, 84 plus Bundesliga star, 83 plus star duo Bundesliga pack, Bundesliga foundations. These are all the same packs that were added, you know, like last week for uh, the Premier League cards that were put into packs and we saw most of them in the store. So this is again, nothing to be super scared of. Maybe they drop one of these as an SBC, like the 83 plus times five Bundesliga pack. We should be seeing all that sort of stuff that we saw last week for Prem in this upcoming week for Bundesliga. So that's pretty exciting. Um, but I, I don't think we would get many of those today, if, if any of them at all. The focus is going to be for EA selling the lightning rounds and selling the FIFA points. So it's still going to be a hype day, right? Because it really depends on how much EA is going to juice these cards and how excited we can get for them based off of the stat boost and the skill move upgrades and stuff like that. Because undoubtedly, there is going to be some good cards dropped today from the leaks that we have seen. If the stats change for the better, that would make it even more insane. And guys, I mean, these TOTS cards are probably going to come in pretty cheap. Like the, the Indica card that we have on this game is really good. Um, and his TOTS card looks really, really good. And I'm, I'm just really excited to see how these cards are, are going to be pretty cheap on this game today because TOTS cards have just been cheap in general. And I'm excited to see that continue, except for the top tier cards. I think Nkunku is going to be really expensive. I think Lewandowski, if he gets a five-star weak foot. Holland, uh, if he gets some skill move weak foot upgrades. Again, that's what it's all dependent upon today on this game. Now let's talk week in league as well because we do have some information on that. As EA have updated the rewards inside of Champs Finals, if you guys did not see this, they have updated rewards back to the same thing that they should be giving out the Bundesliga Tots Reds and the tradable packs give out either Bundesliga or EFL, as you can see here. And then rank three and above, of course, you get the guaranteed Bundesliga Tots three players pack there. And then the Reds are a mix between Bundesliga and EFL. So there's nothing crazy, nothing changing in there. But EA did tweet out just a couple hours ago telling us how they were going to compensate for themselves ending the foot champions finals for Premier League last weekend early. And this is a big, this is laughable, honestly. Uh, so this is what they said, right? We, it was unintentionally ended 24 hours early due to a an issue, right? We're investigating it and we'll provide further updates. Well, here's our updates. Due to the final scheduling error, players who qualified for last week's finals will receive 1,500 foot champs qualification points next week following the completion of the current foot champions finals. So if you qualified for weekend league last week and played last weekend, and of course that was when the glitched time frame was that was shorter than what it should have been, you are going to receive 1500 champs points for next week's weekend league. Uh, not even this week, next week's. And additionally, early next week, we'll be releasing an objective in game that contains an untradable prime gold players pack and 3000 XP. I feel like this is such just a, I mean, they're giving us the bare minimum of compensation here. Think about like, this does nothing to help you if you didn't play half your weekend league games and you got stuck with like rank seven rewards or something like that because you didn't have time to play your games. Like if you got stuck right here on like seven wins or, or, or nine wins, even and you were trying to go for more, you kind of feel hosed by EA Sports right this. And I feel like this is a joke of compensation. I'm being honest. I feel like they should have given us a double set of rewards or um, at least like an extra red player pick for everybody or something like that because like it, people were playing weekend league last weekend to get Premier League TOTS cards and what they're telling us is hey we messed up last week but we're gonna let you play next weekend for free and we're gonna give you a 45k pack that'll give you some golds and 3000 XP 
I think that's just that's poor is what that honestly is. So I'm kind of bummed out by from EA Sports at that lack of compensation because that really does not help people out at all. They were playing weekend league last week for the foot champions rewards as a part of Premier League tots. Um, and I know it's hard to go backwards, but I mean, actually, is it really that hard? Just release one of the packs to people that qualified or, um, you know, just give out a free one of three red pick or a one of four red pick, just one of them to like everybody that qualified. Like, I don't think that's that difficult. Is it too much to give out red picks? Yeah, that would impact the market a little bit, but I think that those rewards from EA are just, I think that's kind of silly. I think that is it's underwhelming. That's the best way to say it. So that's kind of our news for foot champs, but it looks like the schedule is set up for this week. So uh, three hours after content today on Friday, you'll be able to start those games. Uh, and I know also, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, for a lot of you guys today, this is still the last chance to pack some Premier League tots, which actually I packed my 35th tonight. It was Ruben Diesch. And I got a couple player picks here to open to end the video today. And if we hit a blue, that'd be fantastic. But I'm still crafting these player picks. I'm trying to pack some more blues. I'm still chasing a big boy. Sun, of course, was our reds, but I've seen two people already tonight. I've seen two people pack Salah, and he's been like a dinosaur this entire week. Nobody's been able to pack him from what I've seen, or very few people. And now I've seen two people pack him tonight in the span of like 30 minutes. So, yes, we'll take a Tiago. Good walkout right there. I've gotten a lot of Tiagos from player picks. The wait for fodder has definitely turned up on these. I'm getting consistent 83s, 84s like every time almost, but we need the blues, man. Oh, Pickford is nice. We take that. I got two picks left, Chad. Come on. Give me a blue. Oh, Declan Rice. All right, I'll take that though. Nine player picks and I at least get a 92 Declan Rice. I guess that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, we'll take it. That's actually going to up the counter to 36. Hey, look at that. We packed a blue on the video. GG's. And... Um, we're going to do some more packs, though, this morning still. I'm going to buy some more players and try to get myself one last shot and one last opportunity at packing a big boy. We'll open one more for the for the video. You know, maybe the video is bringing us the luck. Okay, just boards. I also packed Luis Diaz Man of the Match card today, so that's kind of interesting. Last thing I will say as well, speaking of the market, EFL Tots cards today are going to get slammed, just like Air Divisie did last week. I know that those cards are already really cheap, but watch out for guys like Mitrovic, um, and Swift, I think that's his name, and then Harry Wilson. Uh, those are like the top three. Sorry, not Swift. It's Twine. Twine is the the most the three most expensive cards that are in Bundesliga tots or EFL tots. Uh, they're also in packs again today, so be very careful with those. I think you're going to see some prices dropping. So that's going to be the video for today, boys. If you're hyped for Bundesliga team of the season, I'm excited to see the cards. I'm hyped for it. But if you're hyped for it, hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.